Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be posting my video on the DIYs that I did um, using nothing but Dollar Tree items for the most part. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button that I'll probably link somewhere up here. Um, and if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for all the support. I finally reached my 100th subscriber, so I'm so excited. Um, so I'll show you three different um, projects that I did using Dollar Tree items to decorate for the holidays. I will be posting four videos for the month of December. I usually post a video every two weeks, but because Christmas is my favorite time of the year, I decided to do four videos for this month. So, like I said, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that way you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the video. So, hopefully you like it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, y'all, let me tell you, you do not want to sleep on the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna highlight a couple things that they had. I honestly didn't even go down the aisles because the Dollar Tree was so packed. But anything you can think of, they have it. Flowers, stockings, Christmas hats, ornaments, Christmas balls. I'm talking fake snow, like anything you need. So I'll highlight a little bit before we hop into the video. I told you they had a lot of stuff, but let's go ahead and jump right into the first DIY project. Okay, so you need three gift boxes, six candlestick holders, and some E6000 glue or your own type of glue that you pick. I chose the E6000 glue. Now, one candlestick is going to remain by itself. For your second candle, you're going to combine two and just turn, flip one upside down and glue it together. That's gonna to be your second stand. Now for the third stand, you're gonna combine the remaining three candlestick holders. So you're going to repeat the same steps you did for the second one. You're gonna flip one of the candlesticks over and glue it to the other. Now with the Y part, you're going to see me attach the bottom to the bottom. And when done, they should look a little like this. Now it's time to attach the gift boxes to the stands. So you're gonna take your hot glue, or in my case, the E6000 glue, and you're gonna attach the first box to the single candlestick holder. And for the remaining two stands, you're going to repeat that same step by attaching the gift boxes to the stands. Now, I chose two different types of gift boxes. So for the tallest and the shortest one, they are going to be the same gift box. And that middle um, gift box is going to be the pattern on the box is different. And 
there you have it it is now all complete I went ahead and put it um, underneath my TV my area up here is not done but I at least wanted to show y'all what it looked like DIY number two for this one you need a letter some mini ornaments paint and a paintbrush and hot glue the first thing you want to do is just paint the sides and the front of your letter it doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be covered you just want it to be the same color as whatever ornaments you decided to use And this is how it looked after I was done painting. As you can see, it's not perfect. And here it is once it's dry. Now you wanna go ahead and hot glue the ornaments to the letter. I had some shiny, some matte ones, and some glitter ones. So there was no rhyme or reason on how I hot glued. I just started hot gluing them on there. And the glitter ones were scattered about. Y'all excuse me if I sound crazy. I'm catching a cold due to this crazy flip-flop in Virginia weather. And here is the finished project after everything's been hot glued. You can also put ornaments on the sides, but I didn't want mine on the sides. I just want it on the front. DIY number three. So you're going to need some ribbon and you want to cut it to equal parts for however many cabinets you want to do that's how many pieces you need off camera I attached the ribbon to the cabinets and all I used was a piece of duct tape on both of the ends of the ribbon and attached it to the inside of the cabinet then grab you some Christmas bows now my bows already came with twist ties on the back I'm not sure if you can really see it but it does come in handy because all I'm going to do is attach the ribbon and the bow together and just twist the twist tie to the back of the ribbon and that way you can easily move it up or down if you need to adjust the height of the bow. Once you adjust the bow to your liking, you're going to go ahead and just finish the rest of the cabinets. Now I do have two small cabinets above my microwave, but I'm not going to do those. I just wanted to put ribbon on them. There you go. Quick, easy, simple Christmas touch to your kitchen. Y'all don't mind my countertops. Thanksgiving was the day before, so bear with me a little bit. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure if you're not already subscribed so you don't miss my next Christmas DIY video. Bye.